Hello everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and in case you can't tell by my voice, I've been sick for the past week, and it is affecting my poor little vocal cords. As it is encroaching on the end of May, I decided to do one last mermaid video, and what I did for this video was have my boyfriend draw a bunch of random shapes, and I was planning on making mermaids out of them. How I imagined it in my head was that I would make a mermaid per shape. So in this case, it would have been four mermaids. I didn't give him a number of shapes or a color of the shapes to do. I just gave him all my markers and said, make some shapes. Then as I was staring at the blank void with these shapes, I realized that I just didn't have enough room to make four different mermaids on the page. So then I decided to make two mermaids, each of them utilizing two of the shapes. And I've talked about this before in shapes challenges where a lot of the times I instantly have an idea when I look at a shape. And it's hard for me to get that idea out of my head and I spend many, many minutes staring at it hoping that something else will come to mind. But alas, my initial gut image <laughs> is usually the one that prevails. And that was definitely the case with the mermaid that's on the right with the gray helmet head dress thing. Um, I just really saw these like dark eyes peering out from underneath this, I don't even know what you would call it, headdress, I suppose. And then, you know, I made a, a tail fin and I tried to make it not super uh, typical, I suppose. And then it was for those last two shapes, which you've kind of seen me working through it already. Um, earlier on in this video, I was trying to make a headdress out of the orange one for a little bit, but then I decided I didn't want the mermaids to be oriented the same way. They would just be too similar if they were both sitting up. So I decided to make the blue shape the headdress. And although I think it looks fine in the end, I really struggled to figure out what to do with this blue headdress. I wanted to make it kind of like corally or something, something ocean themed, but it just nothing was working. So I ultimately just went with my gut and the shape and made these weird swirly ear things. Don't ask me what they are. They're just there to add interest. I also really struggled on the pose with this second mermaid because her back is like arched and I kept making the back too long or too short or I don't know. It was just a challenge. So you will see me rework that many, many times. <laughs> I also felt that I wasn't providing enough detail in my mermaids. I don't know why I wasn't able to pull more inspiration from the shapes to give them more interesting details, but they were feeling really boring to me. So I decided to make the tail fin of the left mermaid have like a bunch of torn holes in it. And since I already had a vision of the right mermaid having these really dark eyes, these mermaids kind of turned more into siren-like characters. I know sirens are pretty much mermaids, but they're kind of like evil mermaids. And so this definitely went in a darker direction than I had originally planned, but I really liked that. It was kind of fun to make something that wasn't so like cutesy and flowy like I usually do with mermaid. I also edited this video in a different way than I normally do. And from what people tell me, it's not that noticeable when I edit it one way or another, but I edited this video a little bit more like my draw December videos where I was doing a video every single day where I just sped up all the clips and cut out the lulls, but normally I cut out a lot of the process and make it a lot faster and you don't see me kind of like reworking the same shape over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> but I thought it would be kind of fun to do it differently both to add a little bit of time because I've had a lot of short videos lately, but also to kind of give you guys a better idea of what goes on behind the scenes because nothing is ever as easy as it looks, I feel like. Everything is edited in a way that, you know, you see the start and then the finish and you don't really see the journey, but I know that the journey is very important in pretty much all aspects of life. So I've really slowed down some of the inking so that you can see how freaking slow I am. And then just 
you know, didn't cut anything out, showing all of my mistakes and edits and readjustments to create a finished product. How do you guys feel about me doing this style of video where you see the whole thing? Do you prefer that or do you prefer the super edited down version? Let me know. Maybe I'll even put a poll up. I feel like it's been a while since I did a poll. Because my voice is kind of gone, I'm not gonna force talk about things. So when we approach a part of the video where I think something should be said, I will be back. But until then, enjoy the music. So I would say here is one of the mistakes that I made. I didn't like the way the kind of underneath that right mermaid's left arm was and I filled it in black and it just looked so stark in comparison to everything else because I usually do really kind of delicate light line work and once I filled in that with black, I thought it looked really weird and so I started adding black all over the place and I was honestly in a bit of a frenzy not knowing what I was doing and thinking that it didn't look like my style but in the end I think it looks cool like once you erase all the pencil marks it makes it look very comic book-esque I guess which is cool I don't normally put a lot of line weight into my line work and that's mostly because I'm really scared to do it Maybe that's what I should focus on for next year's Inktober. Not that I should be planning for that already, but I'm always looking forward to Inktober. <laughs> I'm sorry that I've been so inconsistent with my upload schedule lately. Obviously this is going up on a Monday instead of a Saturday or Sunday. My life has just been really busy and then also being sick didn't help, but I'm definitely still trying to get these videos out to you guys and I'm going to be making a couple life changes pretty soon that will hopefully allow me to put more time and effort into these videos because I feel like I'm at this point which I've heard other artists as well as art YouTubers or even just YouTubers in general talk about. I think a big issue that creatives have is when their hobby and the thing that makes them happy turns into work, for lack of a better word, because obviously most of us, our goal would be to have our hobby pay us. So it's not that that is the problem. It's that you lose enjoyment because it feels like a necessity and you just start to lose enjoyment because it feels so forced and with me working two other jobs I definitely feel that way about the YouTube channel right now it just feels like I'm not putting my all into it and so I'm kind of embarrassed to put things up and I don't want to be embarrassed I want to be proud of what I show to you guys <laughs> And I also want to feel that inspiration of feeling the drive to draw rather than being like, oh, now it's Wednesday, I have to draw so that I can have a video to edit on Thursday and 
You know, it just feels so forced and scheduled into my life right now. And I don't mean to be complaining about it because it's really cool. There's so many of you here now, which speaking of which, I forgot to thank you guys. I think it was even a couple weeks ago now, but we're at 200 subscribers, which is crazy. I never thought it would get this big. I'm speechless. It's really exciting. And I think that's part of why I'm feeling this way is I'm feeling a lot of pressure and I really want to have the time to put out content that is fun and exciting and new and makes me proud. With that said, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me work through creating mermaids out of random shapes. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.